Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Happy New Year! It's welcome to a new year. It's Boy Dante from Shop X03 here with my co-host. What's up, everyone? This is JC. Brand new year, ready to go. We're gonna go uh, give you guys what we can with uh, the latest drops, the latest uh, sneaker news, the latest underground fashion news, and just the latest uh, fashion news in general that's you know trending. So. Uh, to start off, uh, we'd like to say rest in peace uh, to Vivian Westwood, who is an OG designer, and uh, a lot of people probably, it's their first time hearing, a lot of younger, you know, fashion heads, it's probably their first time hearing about Vivian Westwood if they, she was like a fashion influencer in like the 60s, the 70s, and from, in popular culture, from what I know her about is, uh, remember when Pharrell used to wear those big buffalo looking hats? Like, like 2000, like during his happy era. So yeah, those, and then she also has like little charms. It looks like a planet with a cross on it. And she's popular for those as well. In uh, That's what she's most known for. So yeah, so rest in peace. I mean, she, she died, but at least she died at 81. That's a long time. She also had a controversial like Nazi, well not like a, like a, not, what's that, what's the thing? The swastika? The swastika, yeah. yeah. She had like a swastika strip. So our next, uh, a piece of clothing news, a collaboration between Carhartt and Marty. So Marty's typically like a, a higher end brand and Carhartt's like a workwear brand and you know they have like this flower pattern on uh, all these jeans like little flare jeans and then bucket hats, Carhartt and bucket hats. You know, what, what do you think about this? I really like the uh, it looks like a jacket. This one right here, the one that's green with uh, the white flowers. Uh -huh. I like that. That's definitely something I see myself wearing. Um, looks like they have it too, like in a short sleeve version from what I'm seeing on here. So out of the whole collection, I would say those are personally my favorite things from what I'm seeing on here. It's a collaboration between Mar uh, Marnie and Carhartt. Just goes to show that Carhartt's still trying to be, you know, uh, in this like high beast fashion uh, community. But for our next uh, drop is Sean Witherspoon is uh, getting some vintage Levi's and he's just hand sewing fruits in them. It looks like it's just cool customs that he's doing. Of course, with the name Sean Witherspoon, people are gonna buy that. So yeah, what do you think about these? It's not bad. I, I mean, I don't mind designs like on, on jeans and stuff. Um, however, I just don't know how I feel about just like all the fruits and stuff that are on there. Um, it, it honestly just kind of looks like emojis. I mean, I guess it's cool, you know, they're like on vintage Levi's. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, for me, I don't think I would buy these um, it's a cool concept I just I just think he could have done a little bit better with what he actually was putting on the jeans well moving on we're gonna go to JC for our sneaker news so obviously you know with being a brand new year there's a lot of things going on with shoes but I want to mainly at least for today just touch on kind of the ones that I'm really excited for one of the first ones that I'm definitely excited for is the reimagined Air Jordan 1 black toes now from what I've been reading and at least seeing on Instagram, and obviously, you know, this is all just kind of being said, nothing is confirmed. It's supposed to be a reimagined, so it's gonna be like an 85 cut, but it's not gonna look vintage, right? So it's not gonna have like any type of distressing or wear to it. It's just gonna be like the OG cut, like the Georgetowns or the neutral grays that we saw, you know, with the OG cut. So very excited for that. Um, I don't know, dude. What do you think about these ones, man? The black toes. I mean, they just, they're gonna sell out because they're OG colorway. And, um, I mean, it says not, it says re, what does it say? Remastered, not reimagined? I don't know. But, yeah, it's something like that. And they're following it up, like you said. I mean, they even announced the Royals. Um, and I'm excited for that. I, I've had Royals before. It's one of my favorite shoes, hands down. Um, this one is supposed to be releasing not till next year, 2024. Again, everything right now is just sort of up in the air. Hopefully they do come out, but most importantly, I hope it's this year. I don't want to have to do it a whole nother year. I like these, yeah. yeah. No, I like the Royals. The Royals are always super cool to me. And then obviously, you know, coming on March 11th, um, I, I swear I've seen so many people with these already. Um, it's going to be, you know, the white cement threes. These ones are going to have kind of like that aged look to it. It's not going to be, you know, like cracked leather or anything, but the back tab and the sole is going to have that yellow kind of off-white color to it so like a beige yeah shirt. so we're gonna be seeing those those ones are confirmed and then for february 11th um it looks like we're, we're getting back the jordan the ones that are black and white so people have been calling up the pandas again um i like it for sure i know it's a basic colorway but i do like it i'm gonna definitely try to get these 
Um, I know that a lot of people in the comments when I was seeing these, it's like, oh, they're like, oh, you know, we're tired of the Panda colorway, this and that, but these are an original colorway from uh, 1985. Um, it got you a photo right here so you can see it. I mean, it's, you know, I feel like everyone just kind of talks crap on the pandas because that's the shoe that a lot of people have been pushing out lately, but I'm excited. I'm going to go for them. I love that Jordan's bringing back all the OG colorways for the Jordan 1. And, man, I just really hope I can hit you. I don't know, bro. What do you think? No. I know you're not, like, deep into shoes, but well, all the OGs, you know? As much as I think, like, you know, the Jordans are sat oversaturated and stuff, it is cool that Jay-Z did bring up a part of sneaker history showing that this is an OG colorway, even though it is the Panda colorway, but not done. It was dunk with rather a Jordan one, so that's pretty cool, yeah? Hey, guys, um, thanks again for tuning in. Um, this is this is the start to a lot of new episodes, a lot of new content. Thanks again for joining us for this new year. And uh, is there anything you want to shout out, JC? That's going to be everything. Stay tuned. More episodes on the way. Deuce.